go hello everybody welcome back to my channel um today as i promised i am going to make something kenyan um i am making chapatis the kenyan way uh i know there is chapati asian chapati ugandan chapati something else but this is the kenyan way nothing much uh the ingredients very simple just you need flour this is about 750 grams and half a jug of water and a table a teaspoon of uh, salt and a teaspoon of sugar and we are good to go and start kneading and a little bit of oil while you when you will be kneading the the dough so uh we can start okay so here is my flour and i just need a spoonful maybe it will, it will need two two teaspoons of sugar and just one teaspoon of salt this is a uh, microfat way other people they just use salt and uh, they're good to go i usually put uh, a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt and then you just mix them you don't need to do anything Just make a little bit of a dented area and just start adding my water. Uh, usually the water is a little bit lukewarm, it's not warm, just lukewarm. So I just put it in and I just start slowly by slowly mixing the dough, the flour with the water. Just put a little bit more. Other people they make their dough in the in a mixer, but I prefer doing it this way because this is the way I grew up doing it anyway. So I will add a little bit of oil, not much. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to now start kneading the dough by hand. Just basically like uh, making a dough for pizza or even donuts. It's just that you don't need any yeast or other additives. So I will need to be adding flour. Because I need to knead it to the point where it's no longer sticky in my fingers. Well, it's quite relaxing kneading dough. It's like play dough for children. Food, food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour flour on the surface and I'm going to put it down and knead it on the counter. And not I am mixing the dough so that all the components are all mixed up together. So you don't want other parts which are more doughy than others. So you need them to be all nice and kneaded together and looking all uniform. It's really, really simple. I know it might not 
seem like that for somebody who is looking to start, but it's very, very simple. It's just a matter of practice, practice. For somebody who is new, they will do it one, twice, and it will get better as you keep doing it. So I'm just checking how it looks. And then how it feels. You need to have that feeling of uh, elasticity. Yeah, making the door takes about 10 minutes. Very, very simple. It doesn't take long at all. So you prepare your door. I usually prepare mine during the day when I'm planning to cook it in the evening. So I rest it for a couple of hours. And uh, you see, it still feels a little bit stiff. But believe me, uh, when it's all rested and ready to be uh, made, the chapatis, later on, it will be all nice and elastic and just bouncing back. Very, very soft. Yeah, so that is my dough, ready to go. Put it back in the bowl and uh, leave it to rest. I usually cover mine with a wet cloth and uh, we will be making the chapatis later so I will take my cloth just wet it so that is my cloth it's all nice and numb so I cover my dough and then I'll leave it uh, for about, I don't need to put it in the fr fridge, I don't usually put it in the fridge, for about uh, two, three hours and then, and then. So my dough has been resting and uh, it's ready to be kneaded into the round flat bread for the chapatis. As you can see, it's very, very soft now. So I'll just cut as I need. I will need flour. So what I will be doing is I will just make rounds and then add a little bit of oil. And then um, prepare everything and then I'll be ready to roll them and put them in the fire. So just for showing you what you need to do, just roll. then just apply a little bit, bit of oil so it'll be nice good fluffy layers coming through I usually fold it this way other people they do it differently so I usually fold it this way and then I tuck them in and then when they will be nicely fried on the frying pan they will come out just in layers very nice soft and tender so I'm just preparing as I need to and then I will start getting ready Cut. Uh, so I've already prepared my dough and uh, I am just getting ready to just 
flatten the roll the dough into flat bread and then we'll put it straight onto the frying pan i am already uh i've already put the frying pan on just to keep it warm because you don't want a hot frying pan so the only thing that you need at the moment you just need your oil and that's it and where you're going to put the chapatis so that is your first one down and there is I do that. Well, I wait for the dough to go then. Yeah, this is the job of multitasking. You do one, and the other one is on the on the oven on on the stove. So I've already done my first one, so this is the second one. It doesn't take long, so I'll be needing the next one, and that one is cooking away. coming out nicely so I, I usually tend to cook in two so I remove this one I put it on top of this and then I will put another one and then I will oil them together so that really takes me a shorter time rather than doing one at a time so there we go it looks nice yeah it's coming out nicely Can put them all together and oil them at the same time yeah so out of 750 grams of flour uh, and have a jug of lukewarm water uh, salt one um, teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sugar uh, you get about 10 chapatis which is fair for a family of four we don't eat much Yeah, it's coming out nicely. So that's the finished product. The first one which is already oiled. And we are going to do another one. So I can put this one back and start oiling it. Then when I turn it, it will be nice and golden. And I usually serve this one with a stew. It could be anything, bean stew or or a, a beef stew. It could be all, any kind of stew. It's just whatever you prefer. Or lentils. Yeah, all work well as long as you just use a stew. Yeah. 
I always reduce the fire as you prepare the next uh, punch. But yeah, this is also one of my family favorites. But as I said, I don't usually cook cook it often because of just just the lack of time really. But yeah, it's something that. So these are my lovely chapatis. I'm already all done. Uh, ten of them, all nicely done, nice and fluffy. As you can see, lead. Good to go very very soft and tender and yeah somebody will be enjoying a good good dinner so that's how to make chapatis the kenyan way so if you like my presentation for today um, feel free to comment um, subscribe and let's keep on talking up with gladwell and cooking so thank you very much until next time Bye, people.